Uh, today I'll be showing you how to inject, that is right, inject Game Boy games on your Nintendo 3DS and actually play them and have save files to them. And why I say save files to them is because, well, I guess Pokemon games have had a problem in the past with not being able to save. And well, today I'll be showing you a uh, new tool called the Super Ultimate Injector 3DS. It's still in the beta stages, but boy oh boy does this tool work fantastic. And I now have the Ultimate 3DS slash 2DS setup. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy, Youngster Jake, aka Victory Ass himself, Vic TD. And we're back again with another Fire Ass video. So, in this video, you'll, we're going to be using the following tools. We're going to be using WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, so, you'll be needing either WinRAR or 7-Zip, as well as a few ROMs to inject into your game. Um, and you may want to download the title screen of the games you're playing. In this case, I'll be using Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon Emerald, and Pokemon Ruby for this tutorial. Um, and you'll also be needing the box art for them because the tool doesn't recognize all the ROMs. Um, if some of the ROMs I have, it does recognize it and it automatically does it for you, but some of them it doesn't do this, so you're gonna need that as well. Uh, the unfortunate thing with this little tool we have here, it'll be extracting in a few seconds here, it does not allow you to add cheat codes to it. So, unfortunately, I, I don't, I won't be able to show you guys how to add cheat codes and such that to the games. I really wish that I could have done that, but I guess we'll be playing the games the good old-fashioned way, not without cheat codes. But that is fine with me, like, I'm not too concerned with not having cheat codes. Um, I only showed you guys that in the DS tutorial, just so that way you, you, you know you could have it in there, right? So, without further ado, let's inject, let's inject, uh, extract this, you're not inject it. Where I'm so, like, caught up with the injecting play phrase here that we're already two steps ahead of us here. You're gonna wanna go into the release area of the little thing that I got extracted here. And you're gonna go in and click on the new Super Ultimate Injector 3DS.exe. Click on that, open it up, and it should boot up in a few seconds here. Uh, I'm not too sure why it's actually taking so long. Maybe you run it as administrator. There we go. So, you'll see this program actually isn't that hard to use. Uh, when I first opened it up, I was kind of like thrown off by it. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on, but. You're just going to want to go into File, New, uh, then Game Boy Advance CIA. Uh, this is all. This is a CIA uh, injector method, by the way. You're not playing it on a GBA. You're not playing it as a GBA ROM file. Uh, so if you're trying to put this on your GBA run or two for the, that you got to work on your Twilight menu, uh, that won't work for that, unfortunately. And it's come to my attention that not all Pokemon games actually work on the Twilight menu's GBA run or two. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do the video like this. Uh, because, well, why not? I want to play my old Pokemon games on my 2D and 3DS, right? So, we're gonna, then gonna go here, and now, this is the part where I was kind of struggling with, right? I could not figure out why it wouldn't let me open up a ROM here. When I, if you go press open, control O, you can press control O as much as you want, that's not gonna do anything. So what now? Well, look no further, you just right-click over here, you go to load ROM, uh, and then it's gonna take me to my, uh, documents folder. We're gonna go to desktop here real quick. And then we're gonna go into the folder JBA injector. That's where my stuff is stored, at least. I don't know where your stuff is stored. I'm gonna go to my ROMs folder then. And here we go, we got two ROMs. We got Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Leaf Green. I don't know where my Ruby ROM went, but I guess we'll be doing Pokemon Emerald then for now. We're gonna go, okay, go ahead and open that up. And uh, it's gonna actually figure out that it's Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, blah, blah, game publisher. And so here you can see it actually it does allow you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It actually does allow you to download the titles from the screen database. Uh, for some, like I said, for some ROMs, for uh, some reason, it does not recognize the ROM at all, and you gotta input all this stuff yourself, but luckily the ROM I have here, it, it does recognize that it's that. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just download, uh, Artbox from Database, and that should be good. And over here, we're gonna go download, uh, Title Scheme from there, and I'm gonna go by Height? No. Wait, there we go. You can play around with this. Uh, am I gonna keep it purple? Probably not. I like to keep it with... Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna edit this first. We're gonna go ahead here and edit this. I'm gonna take out this. Uh, that way we got the emerald version. There we go. Purple. Yeah, actually, I like the green with the purple, so I'm gonna keep that. You can mess around here as well. Like you can, ch yeah, change the gamepad and stuff like that. I'm not gonna mess around with that just because it works perfectly fine the way I want to play. It, but you can if you want to. Uh, this you can see your title ID and your product code and all that stuff. 
you can even hide it from your game activity log. Uh, I'm actually I didn't even see you could do that, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and do that because I do like to do uh, my 3ds is online, so I don't want to get banned because this is my capture card. Uh, and then you can like zoom in here and like you can move it up and down and such. You can even choose your custom font here. So if you want to go ahead and like choose like a groovy font, like the Pokemon uh, the Pokemon font, uh, I do the install on here. You can go ahead and do that. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead. Actually, let's go for. I like. I've been using this font a lot lately. So one last thing you can actually do here as well that I want to jump into real quick is you can actually apply a sleep patch to the ROM. So what this does is that uh, you can like put the game to sleep. Um, so if I, if I just press, if, let's say if I press A and R to sleep and then A and L to wake up, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, so I'm not really gonna do that. You can even do a hard reset button combination so that resets the game completely. We're not gonna really do that. You can even do a, like a color Thing, strong dark filter we're not gonna do that ghosting I wouldn't mess around with that either but you can do the sleep patch a button if you want to do that uh, we're not, I'm not gonna do that so we're now now we're done here if you want to actually now go ahead and go to uh, project and then go to export CIA and then we're gonna go and name it Pokemon Emerald like so save it and it should now have popped up in your wherever you saved it. Uh, as there we go, see I export it. Good, good, good. You can now exit out of here um, unless you want to inject another game, uh, which uh, I'm not gonna do because well, uh, no, we're not gonna go ahead and do that. You can also save it if you in case you want to use it as a template. And if you go to ROMs now here, you'll see this Pokemon Emeralds.cia. So quick little note as well. I always forget this, but you will need a hack through DS in order for this to work. Uh, it doesn't work if you don't have a hack 3ds as well. You'll need the FBI installer in order for this to work as well. Uh, and like I said, there is it's not an emulator because it's a CIA, so your 3ds recognizes as a. I don't know how exactly it works, but it recognizes as a GBA game somehow, even though it's a .ci file. If you don't know what a CIA file is. It's actually just what the 3DS ROMs are, really. But before we jump into our 3DS, you'll actually want to put your SD card into your computer now. And uh, this is going to pop up. Cool. Exit out of that. Go into your SD card. Well, first, actually copy your uh, Pokemon Emerald.ci fi file by uh, just pressing Control X. And then going in here. And honestly, I put it in the ROMs folder just so that way I at least know. Uh, this is, by the way, from the Twilight menu thing still. At least that way I know that it's in that folder. Because you're going to want to select where it is later on, right? So we're going to go ahead and just put, paste it into here. You can do that by pressing Control V or right-clicking and pressing Paste. So now that that's done, you want to exit out, out of your computer and uh, take out your SD card. Alrighty, so now we are in our lovely 3DS system here. As you can see, we got the Twilight menu rock in there. And uh, we're going to want to jump into FBI Launcher now and uh well see what it can do with the ci file we got in here maybe the ci is taking over right i'm gonna go into your sd card and then uh the rom folder where we put the ci thing and there we go you'll see pokemon animal.ca and you want to click on it and install cia or you can install and delete cia i'm gonna go ahead and just install and delete it uh this process does take a little bit and it, and it doesn't really help that i'm on a old 3ds so it's gonna take a little bit longer than it should on your 3ds or 3ds however i uh, yeah, as you can see there, 46 seconds. Wow, it took like 16 seconds on my 2DS. That's a big difference in time right there. Once that's done, you want to exit out of your FBI launcher, and I believe you actually want to go ahead and turn off your system. Oh no, it's already been added. Okay, that's weird. On the 2DS, you got to turn it off, and on your old 3DS, you don't have to turn it off. But there you'll see you got Pokemon Emerald. Look at that, Pokemon Emerald version, sweet! Let's jump into it, alright? As you all see, you guys, it works perfectly fine, everything like that. No lag whatsoever. Uh, I actually prefer this method a lot better than the actual, in the, uh, um, ROM emulator one. Just because it lags on the emulator. But as you can see there, it is working flawlessly. No lag whatsoever. You'll hear the audio is a bit kind of like... It's a bit weird, but it works flawlessly, and I'll even show you guys you can save 
uh, because I know that's a huge problem with the Pokemon games that you can't save because luckily the new and super injector beta tool actually already applies a save patch for you. I might retire out of our things in a moving truck. Well, this is literally a town. Yes, yes. Thank you, mom. Now I'm going to show you guys you can actually save in this game and if you exit out and come back, it'll be fine. Just like you left it on your Game Boy Advance, you know? We're gonna go ahead and just press start here and then save. And we're gonna go ahead and press home. It's gonna tell you, yes, if you any unsaved data will be lost. However, we saved and none of our unsaved data will be lost because, well, if it, even if it did, we've been, it's been like, what, a minute or two since we last played the game? Not even. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump into the game once again here. And I'll show you now that it does save. Voila! There you can see we have our save file. Everything is good. The game runs flawlessly. Very smooth. No lag whatsoever. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you got any questions on what to do or if your software isn't working and such. Or if you got any questions in general. Feel free to ask them down below in the comment section as I'm more than willing to answer them. And uh, I'm willing to help out. If as Also, join the Discord server. I post a lot, I, I'll be starting to post a lot more hacks and stuff like that on the Discord server in the future uh, and maybe future products as well. And uh, yeah, be sure to check out the other hacks. I have a video on how to actually install custom firmware on your 3DS. It's a bit outdated, but it does work uh, still if, you have, if you're on 11 point, I think it's 1.17 or 11.7 or something like that. And uh, yeah, anyway, as always, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And my name is Youngster Jake, aka the Victory Master himself, Victini. Until next time, peace out and see you guys then.